Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be working with Walla Cut Puff Vinyl. It didn't come with any instructions, so I had to look at somebody's video. Thank you uh, very much for your video, you dig. Um, I am going to, what you see on the screen is what I'm going to press on a cap. I have not seen a video yet. So hopefully I'm the first because I cannot find one where they're using Walla Cut vinyl on a cap. So this is what I'm going to be. Uh, this is one of my brands. You for God for you. I want to see what it's all about. <laughs> a little bit of humor there. Anyway, um, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is come up using a silhouette and I'm just going to remove the transparency or put it on 100% transparency because I want to make it 2 inches tall by 4 inches wide. So I'm going to group this and then make it 2 by 4, so 4 inches wide, 2 inches tall. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got this. So what I did is, I don't remember what font this was. I don't want to go way back and forth. I should have made a duplicate. Always make a duplicate of your work so you don't have to undo and redo and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start over and probably going to fast forward. So, um, I don't know if you could tell on the U's, I, I flipped it around just so it would look uniform. As you can see up here, I didn't want it to be, anyway, just to make it look uniform. I think it looks better that way. And all I did is I kind of shrunk the lettering to how I wanted it because I wanted to crop it. And that's pretty much what I did here. Let me zoom in. So the letters were all the same height and all I did was just shrink it to fit into my oval shape that I got from up here. Just click on that and did this. Let me color it in so you can see it. I'm going to hit escape. Let me delete this. I'm going to color it in so you can see it. Let's make it red. Move it to the back. Right click. Send to back so all I did is I just kind of lined it up to where I wanted it so I can get this so it would look uniform so I got my oval shape and you'll see that I got it barely touching the edge same thing on this side barely touching the edge and I have had an idea how I wanted it, how it was going to look. So what I did is I selected the whole thing, came to the right word, and you're going to click on Open Modify Panel, and just crop it. And then you have this. And you can actually, what I need to do, sorry, I'm going too fast. What I did is I made a I'm gonna move this over for a sec. So let me let's crop this. And then I'm gonna fill it in or color it black. Highlight it. I wanna make the bat uh, the whole thing transparent, no red lines. And then I wanna group it. Okay, so we're going to bring this back here, move it to the back, and let's line it up, highlight the whole thing, come up to Object, Align, Center. Okay, so I did Object, Align, Center. So what I did is I just clicked on the red, came up here to uh, the right, and clicked on Offset. 
and then I created another offset and the second offset I wanted it to be bigger so I don't remember what I used I just kind of eyeballed it let's put it at 0.200 apply so now I'm going to delete the red I'm going to grab these two offsets and I'm going to right click and make it a compound path and then I'm going to make it black come up to the top left and make it transparent or remove the uh, red outline oh my gosh I have a headache and that's how I got this this one actually looks better it's the same thing but whoops forgot to group it and you group it and there you go remember all I did is I just lined up the letters how I wanted it and again I flipped the U around so that it would it look you know look uniform so as you can see here I did good night as you can see I, this this offset is thicker I think I had it at 2.275 I think it was I'm not sure I don't remember but anyway that's how I got this so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna send this to the cutter using this uh, wallet cut puff I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use white on a red cap yeah I'm gonna do white on a red cap the color on the screen doesn't really matter but that's what I'm gonna do white on a red cap for now I'm gonna just see how this wallet cut looks on the cap because I have not seen wallet cut on the cap so hopefully on the first video I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the cutter uh, I'm not sure what the setting is I didn't get that again like I said I didn't get any instructions I just ordered five sheets five different colors um, I think I don't remember how many colors but anyway <laughs> I'm gonna go and send this to the cutter um, I, th I think I'm gonna go ahead and use for the setting I think I'm going to use just regular vinyl I mean it's a little bit thick maybe I don't want to use regular vinyl let's try um, I'm gonna show you because some, I don't always show the settings because I'm always using heat transfer smooth um, I don't know if I want to use glitter Huh. it's a little bit thick I'm gonna flip this around and I'm, the setting I'm going to use is my normal settings which is heat transfer smooth I'm going to leave it on that and send as is see you can do send mirror but it'll just flip it over here and I mean I had the room for it but I'm not using a whole 12 inch piece so either way I'll give you the measurements of the sheets that I ordered. Sorry, my lighting sucks. These are the other colors that I ordered. It was actually four. I thought there was another white one. Anyway, I ordered a, a orange, which looks red. Sorry. I ordered a royal blue and yellow, which looks orange. So what you see on the screen is actually what it looks like in real life. I thought I had two whites. Pretty sure I do. I just don't know where the other one is. So, for those of you that watch my videos or follow me, you know I don't remove that uh, the uh, protective paper or layer from the uh, mat. Never have, and I've had it. I've had the same the same. Uh, mat cutting mat since wow i think 2016 i think as you can see sorry my lighting is bad but you'll see the some cuts that went through but i've, I've i still i still use cotch tape i mean there's you know there's ways you can clean it and 
reuse it. But I've had that sucker for four years. I've only used one. Never used a different another one. Just using scotch tape. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh and I know it takes a while, but I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm always doing different things, so I don't mind. So all I do is just line it up. And it uh, doesn't take long. So I'll edit some of this out. I'm not going to put you through the pain of listening to the cameo that's loud. I am waiting for the 24 inch one. It's on order. I'm not sure when it's coming. I think the last update I got was the end of December, early January. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'll do a video. I might. I mean, I should. Let's see, a tiny cutter. The, um, these water cut sheets are like 12 and a half inches by 10 and a quarter. They're not 12 by 12 sheets. So again, 10 and a quarter by 12, about 12 and a half inches. So it's not a 12 by 12 sheet. Unload. I think that should be okay, I hope. Let's try. Let me go sit. Let me do this on my desk. Okay, so I'm taking off the tape. You see where I use the glitter setting <laughs> to cut through it. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Let's see how it did. I'm just removing the tape from the corners. Hopefully I don't have to recut it and I don't want to keep editing my videos. That gets tiring after a while. Let's see. I'm trying to stay in camera range. Hopefully it worked because I don't want to have to send it to the cutter again. Let's see how it did. Kind of anxious to use to see how this does. Peels pretty smooth. The weed's pretty smooth. Um, all I need to move is remove is the the inside. I hope this comes out good on my caps because this is one of my brands. And I hope it looks pretty cool on the cap. I am going to continue experimenting. See what happens. So after this, Again, this is two by four. Let me get in get behind the camera. So this is what I'm gonna do. See how it looks. And we'll take it to the cap press. Okay, this is the cap I'm using. It's a VKM 100% cotton. I just purchased some random caps. 7440. And let me remove this uh, cardboard. And I use heat tape because the uh, carrier is not sticky. So I use heat tape for the sides and it looks pretty straight. I'm not too concerned about the, the middle, the seam. Because it should be just like any other vinyl. And it's, it's going to stick anyway. But we'll see how it does. I'm waiting for the heat press to uh, get to the right temperature, which is 320. Again, it's going to be 15 seconds warm peel. And I may, at the end of the day... Um, I may make the uh, outline, the oval shape, a little thicker. Just this, uh, but first I want to see how it does. So let's go ahead and press this bad boy. 
Okay, I'm going to be using the Heat Press Nation uh, Black Series uh, Cap Press. I've had this for uh, maybe three years now. Um, it's got the little mechanism to hold the cap in place, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to press down on it. Stick it in there. Line it up. Make sure it's snug. You want to make sure that when you press it, you the vinyl is on the actual little platen. So I need to move it a little to the front. As you can see, there's a big gap. So let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll press. Okay, I'm not going to be able to use this cap press. For some reason, it's not working. I'm going to use my heat press. Okay, so I got the heat press ready. Um, I'm going to use the corner. Right now, it's got a little bit to go. It's supposed to be 320. So I'm going to wait a couple more seconds or a couple more minutes. So a good thing about having a heat press is you can use it to, for caps if you don't have a cap press. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure a bunch of you have seen that you can do that. And I've never had to do it, but I'm going to have to now. So anyway, I know it works. I've seen it done. So I'm just going to. Since I can't flatten out the the cap, I'm gonna do um, just one side and then turn it and do the opposite the other side. So I'll show you that as soon as I get the temperature to where it needs to be. So we're there now. So I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the outside, meaning this side, first. I hate that I have to do this, but. Got to do what you got to do. So I'm going to put some pressure up against it for 12 seconds. I'm going to just count. I don't want to stop the video because I want you to see this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for 12. Was it 15 seconds? Sorry, yeah, 15 seconds. I'm just going to add some pressure. I think that's enough and then I'm just gonna count again to 15 try not to burn the bill I think we should be okay I just want to make sure there's enough heat on there that should be okay this might be a fail only because I have to use the freaking heat press. Yeah, it's not going to work. That sucks. Sorry, I didn't realize I stopped the stop recording anyway. I was peeling some of this off. It could be, it could very well be because of the, I'm not using the cap press. But you, you can, you can uh, use Walla Cut on caps, but you're going to have a texture. And you're definitely going to have a texture. I don't know if it's because of the um, material, even though it does say it's 100% cotton right here. I'm not sure because it does feel like acrylic. I don't know. But if you like the texture look, you definitely can use the, uh, I mean, uh, use this on caps. But it's not like all fluffy. It's just a textured look, which I don't mind that. But I don't like how it came out, you know, because it wasn't even pressure and it wasn't, you know, done all at once, which sucks. But for me, it's a fail, but only because I used the cap press. I'm not going to do a video on the cap press because the cap press has to do the heat. The heat has to do with my outlet. Um, it just has to do with my outlet. My breakers are 15 watt and they're supposed to be 20 watt. So I don't want to do this in my kitchen. I don't want to do this in my laundry room. <laughs> but anyway, you definitely can use this on caps if you don't mind the texture look. Definitely only use a cap press. Recommended. Um, this was again done on this heat press. And I was peeling this off off, off camera. I thought I was still recording, but I wasn't, which was a good thing because I ended up saying a bad word because I was mad. But anyway, that's how it looks on the cap. 
maybe you guys will get a different results better results than I did I like the texture look I'm not mad but you know what while I got you on there I'm gonna go ahead and use the VLR on this to remove it I'm gonna do this on camera normally you'd put it on the back but you can do it on the front as well so let's do this You don't need much, but it's a cap, so I'm going to go ahead and just be generous, only because I have two bottles. No big deal. I don't use it very much. So let's, let's take the sucker off. It was a good experiment. Again, I'm not mad. I don't mind uh, making mistakes and showing them to you. I normally don't do those types of videos anyway. But anyway, you can use VLR on caps as well, just to show you that. I, I am going to do another. I am going to continue to try this because I do like the texture look and just not going to make a video since I already did this one. I just got to clean it up a little bit. I didn't put any there anyway. And then I'm just going to put another, um, put a little bit, put, put some more uh, VLR on here and use a t-shirt. And just clean it up and then reuse the cap. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all I have for you for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching. Until next time.